how to set up a multi-date event on Eventbrite. Once you have created your Eventbrite account, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. And I want you to tap on events from the top left hand corner. And you're going to tap on create event and I want you to select start from scratch. After doing that, you'll be redirected to a new page. From here, you'll be able to either upload photos or videos related to the event that you're putting on. So for example, you could upload a poster and you could also upload videos. For the sake of time, I'm just going to be adding this random thumbnail for example sake. Then we'll select save. You could choose to upload both photo and video. So you could scroll down and you could upload a video. Then you're going to put in the title of your event. And I'm just going to be calling it world tour. So we'll type that in right there. And you can add in a quick description or summary better yet. So I'll just repeat the name. Then you're going to scroll down and this is where you'll be able to put in the dates and location. So you're going to tap on the plus right here. Then you can choose right where you see recurring event. We're going to tap right there since this is going to be a multi-day event. So you're going to select recurring event. After you have done that, you can either enter in a physical venue or you can choose to host it on an online platform, for example, Zoom or any other platform. But for this example, I'm just going to be selecting to be announced. After doing that, you're going to scroll down and you can fill in any FAQ questions that you would like to add. And you can also add your lineups and your agenda. Then you're going to tap on save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. After selecting save and continue, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you'll now be able to add the dates of your events. So for example, the first event will be held on the 8th of August. After doing that, after selecting the date right there, we want to ensure that we have selected multiple times and you're going to select when it will start. So for example sake, it will begin at, let's say for example, 1 p.m. And it is going to end at 2 p.m. So I want to select 2 p.m. right here. Then I'm just going to tap on save. And you can see right there that I have now entered the first date. And it is also going to be held on the 9th is it's going to be two days or let's say for example the next day will be the 12th next time it will be held will be 11 better yet we can select the 11th then you can select the time that it will start so it will start at 2 p.m and it is going to end at 3 30 p.m then you'll tap on save and you can see right there we have two different dates so first august 8th then august 11th and we're going to tap on next after selecting next, you'll be redirected to the tickets page and you can choose whether it will be a paid event or free event or donation. Keep in mind, you can choose to create both paid and free tickets. For example, we could select paid, then we could give the tickets a name. So I'll just call it, for example, bleachers. So I'll type in bleachers right here. And the cost for this ticket will be $1. Then you can scroll down and the amount that will be allotting for the bleacher section will be 90. Then you're going to scroll down and you can choose whether it be visible on all dates or only on a particular date. Then you're going to tap on save. And by the way, you can also tap on advanced settings and you can see different options that you can edit. After doing that, so I would have to step up the price, let's say $10 better yet. And I'm just going to tap on save. After doing that, you can go on to the next page. And by the way, if you'd like to offer free tickets also. So let's say, for example, you want to give away 10 free tickets. You could tap on add more tickets. Then you could select free and you could call these free tickets. Then we're just going to be giving away 10. We'll scroll down and we'll select save. So we'll be giving away 10 free tickets also. 
and to give away the free tickets you'll simply tap on the three dots once they have been created and from there you'll be able to give it away. Now after you have created the free tickets you'll tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. Once you have tapped on next you'll be able to preview it and by scrolling down you can also set up your refund and by scrolling down you can see right here you can set up your refund policy and so on and you're just going to tap on publish now and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching